Hello and welcome to Avorion. My name is Rudy, and today we're going to attempt to penetrate the barrier and get into the center of the galaxy. Unfortunately, I must say this is going to be my last episode of Avorion because I'm going to be very busy for the next week or two at work and I won't have time to make these episodes because they do require a lot of playtime and a lot of editing. I will, of course, continue to play Avorion in the future, but right now I think it's appropriate to end off this series with a clean break instead of publishing one episode every week or so. Instead, I'll just stop making this series and then in the future, I'll start up another Avorion series with a new ship and a new crew and hopefully new features that have been released because it'll be very exciting. So we, in the previous episode, we did our artifact delivery. We now have all the artifacts that we need. So now we need to find a very special system at the edge of the galaxy which will have a bunch of asteroids, like eight asteroids or so, and then you need to activate each asteroid using an artifact, and then a wormhole going across the barrier will form, and we will take that wormhole to our destiny. But first we need to get there, we need to wait for this calculation to complete. Excellent. So I'm, I'm guessing the system's right on the barrier. I guess we could start looking like that. Looking, I, I assume there are multiple multiples of the system. Like if there's only one around this entire barrier, I mean, you might spend your entire lifetime searching for it because space is vast and empty. But I'm hoping we'll just find one right along here without too much hassle or fuss. All right, well, we got some systems already we can start checking out. Let's, uh, I guess we'll start here and just work our way across. Now, I wonder if the system has to be right on the barrier or maybe if it could be one of these here that are a couple of sectors away from the barrier. Well, in my journeys, I found the smuggler hideout that is indeed offering the looking for Sotan artifact mission. So that's good. They're also looking for 100 sheep. Interesting. I wonder what they need all those sheep for. What the hell? What do they need a hundred sheep for? Like, it's not not only do they need a hundred sheep, but they're like, we are short one hundred sheep. Okay, so, I mean, I have not found what I'm looking for yet. We'll need to keep on searching. But the point is, if you're looking for artifact delivery, you can find it in smuggler stations right on the barrier. Hoo hoo! We found a secret stash right on the barrier. I wonder if we'll find anything cool in this one. Hopefully something more than just 60,000 credits and a terrible repair turret. Slow and steady. All right, open her up. Where are we? Overshot it. Oh ho ho, 14 million, am I re, oh, 65,000 credits. Bringing me up to 14 million credits. Man, I hate, I hate that. I'm like, I got 14 million credits. And, oh, we got a double plasma turret and a Xanian mining turret. Yeah, all these secret stashes just have the same type of stuff. All right, I need to get the hell out of here. These asteroids are giving me the heebie-jeebies. Okay, well, uh, you know what? We need to actually, we, we got some really cool railgun turrets in the previous mission that we should definitely equip. We are at our turret limit. I don't... What should we replace? Let's see. Let's let's get a let's take out this quad bolter turret. Goodbye. And let's take out this double chain gun turret. I think the double chain gun turret's pretty good. Let's also take out this quad bolter turret. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Good. And we are going to add on a Zanian railgun array. Ooh, and I got two of them. Let's let's make use. I never use really. I never really use mirroring mode for turrets because I never have turrets of the same type, you know? So let's, um, where, where do we want to put them? How about right there? Oh, I can't put them there because the lack of materials. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll just put them right there. How about... Okay, we got our two railgun turrets. Nice. Let's try them out. Let's give these puppies a test drive. We're going to give them their own special group, the railgun group. Ho ho ho, I think this is going to be good. I mean, I, I get why people do artifact delivery over 
and over again to get just an entire ship of these turrets. Uh, did, did some aliens not warp in, I thought? Where are the aliens? Or... Oh, there they are. I can barely see them. I still can't see them. Oh, there they are. They are at... They are quite a distance away. Yeah, with this dark purple, it's hard to see the red. Okay, well, these, these railgun turrets have a range of like five kilometers. So we will be able to pick at them pretty soon. They're coming for me. They don't like what I'm doing here. Steady. Hold. Fire. All right, check that out. 3,000 damage for two hits. My god, man. Such power. Ooh. That was nice. Lovely. What is that thing there? Exotic shield booster. Nice. You can never have too many shield boosters. Never know when you're going to need an extra shield booster. Okay, is there another? There are more alien ships. Where are they? Where the heck are they? Something more concerning than an alien ship that you've lost sight of. All right, what, what is going on here? They're just so slow and so ineffective that you can't even notice them. There they are. Or there it is. Amazing. Let's give him our other laser as well. Yeah, the other laser does not even measure up. It's like the railguns are just killing it, and the laser does maybe a few percentage points of damage out of the grand total. Okay, these are the worst aliens I've ever seen in my life. They're just like lazily milling about. Like, I don't care if you pick off my companions one at a time. I'm not even going to shoot at you. <laughs> okay, I love these railguns. Okay, so... We need to find... We still need to find that sector that I'm looking for. I guess I'm going to check out these yellow blips here. Maybe one of those would be the sector? I don't know. I don't know if it needs to be right on the barrier or just close by. But I will see... Okay, I've, I've gone all along here. I've explored all the hidden mass signatures right on the barrier. So what we're going to have to do, I think, is jump around this jut and start exploring down here. I mean, that's the only option I can see. So let's head up over there. Okay, well, we are still on our way, but I think I'm going to swing by this pirate sector real quick and just destroy some pirates using these railguns. I've equipped a shield modulator thing. I guess I need to wait for that to regenerate, but then we will be on our way. I guess I'll just see how much, how many shields I can regenerate in the next 10 seconds, because I don't feel like waiting. And, you know, we're not going to stick around. We're just going to kill a couple of ships. It'll be a hit and run raid, and then we'll be out of there before they even know what hit them. Okay. Now, if I recall correctly, this is the sector where we were fighting that Dreadnought a while back. Ooh, what's that? A cruiser? Alright, pirates. Well, I'm a pirate too. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Even... Yeah, these, these ships are tough. Railgun has hard time penetrating shields. This is why you need to do the mission multiple times and get more railguns. and also activate other laser weapons. Yeah, let's just act, let's light her up. Nice, I mean, we, it's impressive how tough this ship was, but just imagine how much more tough it would be without those railguns. Yeah, these railguns are crazy, crazy effective. 
They are the solution in anti-ship weaponry. And so we can use our laser too. Help bring the shields down a bit. Man, once the shields go, ho ho! Once the shields go down, these uh, railguns really take the cake, I guess, because they do bonus dam. They do more bonus damage to hull than they do to shields. Oh man, it's it's like every time you hear that click of the railgun, that little. A little click, you know something's going to die. To disable the railguns a bit so they don't overheat. And we're good to go. So this is pretty good. Like I have my my big laser that uses up tons of energy, so when I'm running out of energy, I need to disable that. And then in also, I have my two railguns that overheat, so when they're about to overheat, I need to disable those. So there's a, a few little things that I need to manage here, which is pretty entertaining, I think. Okay, this is pretty good, so my, my relations with the Evilage are improving because they've sent some headhunters here to take me out. And as I kill enemy pirate ships, my relations with them improve. It's a nice little thing. And now pirates are attacking the sector. Now we seem to get some aliens in here too. Let's see how much I can get my faction up by just fighting these pirates. Oh my god, a battleship. Yes, that is what we need to fight. Let's go after that battleship. Man, if the pirates were to take out the headhunters for me, that'd be pretty cool. Because then uh, I don't, I won't lose faction fighting them. Okay, don't... Do not set for ramming speed. Oh man. Okay, let's uh we gotta get the shields down. Our shields are gonna be down pretty soon, but we will regenerate. Okay, yeah, this battleship isn't too bad. They have 0.17 million shield. We just gotta make sure we don't overheat our railguns, so let's disable those. And our energy is almost depleted, so I'm taking off my laser. Okay, railguns back on. Let's circle around this thing. Yeah, their shields won't be up much longer. I mean, it makes things so much less tedious, right? Not having to sit here fighting and shooting for like 20 minutes to take out a large ship. Okay, disabling the railguns and their shields are down. Okay, now... Now the fun begins now. We can begin dissection. Each railgun fired blows up a block. Their finest battleship has been laid waste. Okay. So how is my faction with the the Evelage? They're hateful. They used to be abhorrent, but now they're hateful. Okay, I have found it. This is definitely it. Wow, look at these. Holy crap. These look really freaking sweet. I had no idea this is what I was going to find. I thought these would just be like some stupid looking asteroids, but they are very cool looking asteroids. Okay, so I guess I'm not sure what I need to do now. Let's approach one of these asteroids and see what's up. Oh. It's glowing. Okay, okay, yeah. So five, six, seven, eight. I have artifact eight equipped. But if I unequip, if I, let's say, put an artifact three, look at that, it stops glowing. Maybe I should have salvaged the asteroids. It's like, no, you're not supposed to salvage. Don't salvage the asteroids. That is really neat. Who built this facility? Think of all the man hours that went into constructing this. Okay, so. I think what we need to do is we need to exit into our drone. Uh, I feel like you used to be able to exit into your drone by hitting the T button, but that is not happening. Let 
Wait, look at the size of this thing. What we are going to do is we're going to found a new ship. ASDF. Okay, dude, I know all about that. And what we need to do is we need to equip the eighth artifact. Five, six, seven, eight. Boom. It's glowing and let us exit back into our drone. All right, so we just got to do that uh, seven more times. That is... I guess that's all right. That's not too difficult. Okay, we got number one. Exit into our drone. Yeah, I guess I could have parked a little closer. Let me just make sure I actually have that artifact in my inventory. Damn it. Alright. I'm not sure how close I need to be. I don't care what the name of the ship is. Can I not name the ship? Oh, yeah, you can have a ship that is not named. Craft Zero. That's spooky. Number one. Excellent. Alright, well I'm just gonna do that uh, six more times and then we can go into the core. Now this is... This is a pretty good view of the asteroid base. It's in the sunlight after all. Like, there's also these little doohickeys on the side here like that. Man, it'd be so cool if you could, like, actually go inside and explore these things. Hmm. Yeah, what's this all about? Very, very cool. Alright, so I believe we're looking at asteroid number three right now. New ship. New ship. Number three. And it's as easy as that. This light effect could be a bit more cooler, I think, but that's okay. Right now, it's a pitiful... It's like a little pitiful LED. Could be better. Okay, all, all of the asteroids have been lit up except for one. We have the artifact equipped on our main ship. Artifact 567. So let's go up to it, and then we should maybe see a nice light show or some fireworks or something as a wormhole forms. Let's keep- oh, ooh, 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 now I think we could- oh, we're receiving a distress signal? I don't care. So yeah, it's just a little wormhole that brings me right across. B brings me right across to the other side. And I probably- I think I could just retrieve all my artifacts back, but let's jump through. Let's not waste any more time. Let's see what wonders await us in the center. Or, well, not in the center, but, you know, on the other side of the barrier. Achievement unlocked into the unknown. Nothing around here. Let's check out that hidden mass signature. What if it's like a smuggler hideout? Like, how did you get here? I guess they could have been here. Like, did, does anyone live on this side of the barrier? Any habitated systems, I wonder? It'll be fun to find out. Ooh, what's that? A Sotan Frigate. So we got... We're just here and there's all kinds of Sotan in the sector. That's interesting. Well, we have officially penetrated the barrier. Well, I have to end things off here today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you again in the future for more of Orion, whenever that may be. And please check out some of the other series that I do on this channel. Have a great day.